The San Diego Padres, with their roster full of shortstops, will have a new shortstop in 2024. Xander Bogars will move to second base this season, according to the manager of the Padres. And Kim, the reigning Utility Gold Glove Award winner, will be flipping from second base back to the shortstop position. Xander Bogars, who signed an 11-year contract with the Padres last offseason, has spent his first 11th season of his career playing shortstop almost exclusively in Boston and then in San Diego. He was solid defensively in 2023, but the Padres made the move looking to get the most value out of Kim, one of the best defenders in the spot. Listen to what Xander Bogars had to say about this decision. To me, I just live and die baseball, you know, and I respect him, especially defensively. I, I actually admire him a lot. I just want to continue winning. I mean, if you know me, you just know I'm all about that. And if they feel like this is the time, that's, that's, that's going to make the team much better and, and, and get us to the playoffs the, the, the way that we want to get to, the, that we didn't achieve last year, then, then let's do it, you know. Another thing that Xander Bogart said in that interview is that, hey, if he moves over to second base and he wins a gold glove at second base for several years, that he might feel that he could retire on the top with several gold gloves. And at the end, he mentioned in the interview as well that all that he wants to do is be able to win another championship. And if it means moving to second base to make his team even better, then uh, he will do it. Also, he mentioned that he was probably going to be moved from the shortstop position over to a different position, probably second base, in approximately a year or two. And so why wait until two years when maybe he can move to the new position now and begin to acclimate to that position and possibly win some gold gloves and help the team win? Let me know what you think in the comment section below. Is this a good move for the Padres now to move Bogarts over to second base and to put Kim over a shortstop? We now go over to the East Coast, where the Phillies had been looking for another outfielder for months, but they said that they could not find one because everybody wanted guaranteed playing time. Well, apparently, it was not the issue for Whit Merrifield. Sources said on Friday afternoon that the Phillies and Merrifield had agreed to a one-year, $8 million contract, which included an $8 million club option for 2025, and the deal is pending a physical. Merrifield will provide the Phillies a much-needed right-handed bat off the bench with the ability to play left field, second base, and occasionally everywhere else needed. The three-time All-Star Merrifield batted 272 with 11 home runs and 67 RBIs in 592 plate appearances last season for Toronto. The eight-year veteran spent most of his time at second base with the Royals, but he also played 84 games in the outfield last year for the Blue Jays. I think this is a great move for the Phillies, adding some versatility and different options for their outfield and infield with Merrifield. And lastly, before I let you go at the end of this video, what do you think of Chapman now being with the Pittsburgh Pirates? Here's some images of spring training uh, with Chapman and with his new team and a new uniform. Hey, if you're going to be buying tickets anytime soon to any baseball game, basketball, football, you name it, Go to SeatGeek.com and use the promo code ALLABOUTBASEBALL and save $20 on all your tickets. Hey, if you enjoyed this content, don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe so you don't miss another video in the future. See you in the next one.